Hello everybody. Welcome to Word Shard. In the last class we had uh, studied what are nouns. So in this class we are going to solve some sentences, try to find out the different nouns present in the sentences and then try to state their kinds. Okay, like the last class we did. This class we will not study anything. We will just try and find out whether we have understood the chapter better. Okay, so the first exercise before we move on to the first exercise, the different kinds of nouns can be proper nouns, can be common noun, can be collective noun, can be abstract noun. All these are the various types of nouns. So coming to the first sentence, wisdom is better than strength. So the first word wisdom and the last word strength. Both of these two words are what? They are nouns. What kind of nouns they are? They are abstract nouns because we can feel the strength. We can feel somebody is wise, but we cannot touch that. He sets a high value on his time. So over here, time is a noun, is a particular type of noun. So Time is something which we cannot touch and feel. So that is an abstract idea. Okay, so abstract noun. Third one, I believe in his innocence. In this, in this third sentence, innocence is also an abstract noun. Why? An innocent person, we can touch an innocent person, but we cannot touch the innocence in him. We can just feel it. So that is also an abstract noun. Satish is my best friend. So Satish and friend. Both are nouns. However, Satish and friend in these two words, friend is a common noun. Isn't it? Friends can be n number of friends. But in particular, we are talking about Satish here. So, Satish is a proper noun. Friend is a common noun. Coming to the fifth sentence. I am playing with a ball. I am playing with what? I am playing with a ball. So, ball is a noun. What kind of a noun? It is a common noun. Coming to the sixth sentence, my mother told me to call my sister. There are two nouns. Mother is also a noun and sister is also a noun. Both of them are common nouns. We are not taking a particular name of one mother, but we are talking about a mother and sister. So they are generalized terms. That is why they are common nouns. Coming to sentence number seven, this room is 30 feet in length. So room is a common noun, isn't it? And length is also another type of noun, but it is not common noun. It is abstract, abstract noun, isn't it? We cannot touch the length of it. Okay, next number eight. I often think of the happy days of childhood. Childhood in the last class only we had done. Childhood is an abstract noun. We can touch the child, but we cannot touch the childhood, isn't it? Child is a common noun, but we cannot touch the childhood of that child. That is why childhood is abstract noun. Helen of Troy, coming to sentence number 9, Helen of Troy was a beautiful woman. There are three nouns. Helen, Troy is the name of a place. Helen is the name of a woman and woman is itself a noun. Woman is a common noun. Helen is the name of that particular woman which makes it a particular term. That is why Helen is a proper noun and Troy is the name of a place. That is why it is also a proper noun. It is not just one place, any place, not a generalized term. It is a particular name of a place. That is why it is a proper noun. Coming to sentence number 10. I read Ramayana and Mahabharata. This is very easy. Ramayana and Mahabharata, both of them are epics, we know. If we had told I read epics, then epic would be a common noun. But we are talking in particular. What are the epics? They are Ramayana and Mahabharata. That is why they are proper nouns. So both of them are proper nouns. I guess exercise A is very clear. Please tell me in the comment section how much you have scored over here. We will then move to exercise B. In exercise B, what we are told to do? We have to form abstract nouns. We have to form abstract nouns from the verbs. Okay. The abstract words we have to state of these particular verbs. Let us see the first one. The first one is laugh. From laugh, which is a verb, what would be the abstract noun? It would be laughter, L-A-U-G-H-T-E-R, isn't it? We cannot touch laughter, so it is a, it is an abstract noun. Second one is obey, 
obey is a verb what would be the abstract form of it it could be obedience o b e d i e n c e obedience third one is live we live a life but what is the abstract form of live it is life l i f e life so expect what is the abstract form of expect it is expectation very easy this one number 5 is move what is the abstract form of it movement very easy m o v e m e n t movement next number 6 choose whenever we say choose it is a verb but when we when we have to make it a noun an abstract form of it we have to say choice c h o i c e choice next number 7 starve what is the abstract noun for it it is starvation s t a r v a t i o n starvation also check the spellings whether you are stating it correctly or not okay number 8 act what is the abstract noun of it action action is an abstract noun how to act act is the verb but action is the abstract noun next number 9 please what is the abstract form of it it is pleasure p l e a s u r e pleasure last word is hate hate what is the abstract form of it it is hatred h a t r e d hatred okay so uh, these 10 are also done please also inform me how much you have got over here in the comment section thank you so much i hope this chapter is clear to all of you and if you like the video please like and subscribe thank you so much children